Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I have not done a sit in front of the camera video in a few weeks, um, about three weeks I think, and I think these kind of videos are going to be a little bit sparse. I'm going to try to focus more on studio vlogs. I think those are easier to make and there's not much thing to talk about having a candle business. But like today's video, I have a follower who had requested me doing video about highly scented fragrance oil. And before I even get into those oils, I want you guys to remember something. Hot throw is subjective to a person. I mentioned that in a previous video when I was testing my candles, hot throw is subjective to a person. Now these fragrance oil I'm gonna share with you that has given me a really good hot throw. These I have used in the in the nature c3 soy wax i am not sure how they perform in other waxes i know that they perform really well in the nature c3 soy wax um and nature's garden i don't remember the name of the wax but i'll put it on the screen but it's a wax from nature's garden i think it's a paris soy wax that i've tried in those two waxes these fragrance oil did really well so let's jump into those lists okay I'm going to start with the flaming candle fragrance oils there's three scents that i have tested that i don't have in front of me right now because they're out that gave me a really good hot throw in my nature c3 wax and the one from nature's garden i need to rid of that wax but anyways um it was lavender i don't really like it um it smells good to me and it gave me a very um strong hot throw it's just not popular on my customer base um, so once I'm sold off lavender that is it for that one also honeysuckle I personally don't like the honeysuckle um, scent <laughs> but again it is very popular among my customer base so it's a staple in my line that also gave me a really great hot throw and the last one is cashmere cedar I'm in love with that scent I'm not a fan of vanilla but I love the cashmere cedar um, fragrance oil. That is what I'm also out of as well. And that also gives me a really, a really good hot throw. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna rate them out of five. Five being the highest, one being the lowest. So for lavender, I would give it a five. For honeysuckle, I'd give it about a four. And for cashmere cedar, I'd give it a five. Um, now with the ones I do have that in front of me. So I'm gonna start with very vanilla I'm not sure if you can see but I, I really hate studio lights but vanilla I got this because one of my customer is a male and he wanted vanilla candles so I got this for him specifically I do not like it it gives me a very good hot throw I'll give it a five out of five for hot throw but it's very nauseating to me. It makes me want to throw up when I smell it. Um, but as me personally, um, like the lavender, once I'm swallowed of vanilla, I don't think I'll be having it back in my line. To be honest, um, he's the only person who finds it attractive, my candle, so far that I know of. So unless it's requested by popular demand once i'm sold of vanilla it will not be back in my line again i give it a five out of five it gives me a very strong hot throw um unfortunately because it's very nauseating for me so this again really great hot throw will not be coming back the next one is coffee house now for anyone who's a coffee lover you will absolutely love this um, it is very strong out of the bottle as well. This also gave me a 5 out of 5 hot throw. Unfortunately, it is not in my line. It is it is in my wax melts though, but it's not in my jar candles. Um, I did start out with this in my line. It wasn't very popular. I have a few coffee addicts at work who bought out all the, ca the coffee candles, but I literally only keep this bottle around for those co-workers at work who will order a coffee candle here now and then so this also gave me a five out of five on the hot throw the next one is black amber and lavender 
this is in my line this will stay in my line i i love earthy tones scents um this gives me a four out of five on the hot throw scale um i really love this scent it is very popular among my customers it has become one of my top um top looked at or top search candle on my website it is really really good again i love this smell it's one of my favorite scents the next one is mahogany teakwood this is currently my favorite um scent overall not just from the flaming candle but overall this one i'd say also four out of five on the hot throw scale very popular very much in love i think i have one left this was one of the first few candles that sold when i reopened um i sold about four within the first two weeks of reopening so it's gonna stay in my line again i give it a four to five on the hot throw this one <laughs> i am not sure what the attraction to this one this is fruit loops I am not sure what the attraction to this one is. It really does smell like the Fruit Loop cereal. I cannot understand why people want it in a candle. Um, I had it initially in my line and I had this friend of mine whose girlfriend was obsessed with this and he kept buying her this candle. But they moved away and they have bought a candle for me in months. So I took it out of my line. I didn't see since in making dozens of candles in this scent when only one person wanted it. Um, if he's ever to order it for her again, I'll make it custom. But it's not in my line. I would give this hot throw 5 out of 5. This is very strong. I do use it in some of my coated candles back here. Um, but again, it is very strong. It gives me a really good hot throw. And this is also 5 out of 5. Now, I'm going to move on to Nature's Garden. I have three fragrance oil from them that I think I mentioned before in a video that their oils are very concentrated and they give me really good hot throw when it's mixed with their wax. I cannot remember the name of the wax. Um, but funny enough, I have a case of it coming today, <laughs> but I can't remember the name of the wax. But when their fragrance oil is paired with their wax, wow guys the hot throw is really good i saw some people like there's mixed reviews on their wax but to be honest i've had nothing but good luck with it which i think i'm going to switch to their wax completely instead of using my nature c3 wax um or mix them i actually bought side note i actually bought a case of their wax from just garden to mix with my c3 to see if i get a good blend um i want to change and add some more scents to my line but i'm not getting a really good hot throw with them so far i'm trying to see if mixing my wax will get me there but i have three scents from nature's garden i have passionate kisses um not one of my favorite scents it's very sweet smells almost like berries mix so like strawberries blueberry raspberry mix it's a mix of berries so it's like very berrylicious basically um one of my friend nora she loved that kind of scent so i bought it specifically for her for when she needs candles and then oh and i rate this one on the hot throw four out of five and then this one is a sage leaf this is for my aunt in jamaica <laughs> she loves sage so i bought this because when i'm going home um in a few months i have to make some sage candles for her this is a five out of five the hot throw on this is like and it comes really easily um so very highly concentrated very good hot throw five out of five the next one is i am in love with this scent but only one person have bought candles nantucket garden i love this fragrance oil it smells delicious i am not a floral kind of person but it smells really good um this one i'll give it a four out of five on the hot throw scale as well i think it's much stronger out of the bottle ugh, than it is like in a candle 
but again based on my rating i give it a four to five on the hot throw so these are the three from nature's garden now to candle science i have in a box on the floor a lot of sample candle science um are they one ounce or two ounce those little small bottles i have a lot that i haven't tested that i'm planning to test so i can't tell you about those but i have five four in front of me that give me hot throw i mean really good hot throw the others not so much um so let me start with jamaica me crazy this is my all-time best selling candle which is jamaica man on my website um nate which you call it not nature garden the feminine candle also has a jamaica me crazy but it's not the same the one from candle science gives a way better and smells way better than the flaming candle version of it so i always get jamaica me crazy from candle science this gives me a five out of five hot throw now is described as a citrus scent but it's not citrusy guy i don't know how to describe it in jamaica me crazy it makes you think like you're on an island like it is this it is very calming and relaxing i don't know any other way to describe it but this is a this is the top seller on my website jamaica me crazy i think i'm currently solo of it as well which is what i need to go make some more um for this again i give it five out of five the next one is peppermint and eucalyptus now this relaxing having a stress day calm down it's really nice i give this if i could give this a six out of five i would this is a five out of five i bought a sample of this when i was testing my candles and one of my testers fell in love with it like in love and i was like oh you can look some peppermint <laughs> no no and when i launched my website i have a friend in florida who messaged me she was like do you have any eucalyptus scent and i was like no and she's like oh like i really wanted a eucalyptus scented candle i'm in love with the scent and she was pregnant at the time and i was like okay i'll just go buy the fragrance also i bought um this size the four ounce i bought it and i made four candles out of the four ounce bottle and those four candles were out like in less than two days and i was like well i guess it's gonna be a staple in my line i personally am not a fan but i think it's the third or fourth best-selling candle on my website um again if i give it six out of five i would definitely five out of five for this one now this one white sage and lavender i love this um this is a third best seller yeah i would say third my top seller is jamaican me crazy then paulette rose then this then eucalyptus peppermint but um yeah white sage and lavender i love this i love 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 this i'd give the hot throw a four out of five on this one um before i usually get this from candle science i used to mix lavender and sage like i used to do a 70 30 percent ratio so 70 percent sage 30 percent lavender and i actually prefer it that way to be honest i felt like it was stronger for me but i haven't been able to find a lavender that i want anymore and i think candle science had dis discontinued that version of lavender so i just ended up buying this one instead and this gives me a four out of five when my personal blend needs to give me a five out of five but still a great scent um works well gives me a good hot throw the last one from candle sign is rose petals now i bought it in this size to test it um it's actually basically empty i bought it in this size to test it i do not think i'll be going with candle science's fresh i mean rose petals i am completely 100 percent in love with california candle supply fresh cut rose it is still the best rose scent um fragrance oil that i've 
found so far and i'm gonna go with that one i ordered some fragrance oil from all three companies so when they come in i'll do a um unboxing haul kind of thing in a vlog with those this one i would give the hot throw a four out of five it's still a really good um rose scent in my opinion it's not as great not as powerful not as potent as a fresh cut rose from california can supply um but for anyone who wants a rose scent and don't want to order from california can supply because maybe it's too far like it is for me candle science has the rose petals it's really good it smells like rose smell like valentine rose to be honest smell like rose um Again, I give it a four out of five. I still prefer my Fresh Cut Rose, which I'm gonna to continue to go with. But if I'm ever to run out of that, I might switch to this one. But that is it. Now there's one oil that is from Virginia Candice Supply. It's a seasonal um, fragrance oil. It's pumpkin pie spice. This, guys, when I say this is potent, this is potent. This is on a hot throw scale, five out of five, definitely. This works in any wax I've tried, both in soy, power soy, paraffin, and coconut. This works. This fragrance oil, I, I hope it doesn't expire because I'm planning on using it later on this year for my fall candles, but this fragrance oil is potent. Like, it is really, really good. Again, I give it a five out of five on the hot scale. I personally don't like pumpkin smelling candle. And it doesn't smell like pumpkin. It smells, I don't know what the word to describe it, but it smells really good. It gives you a, a nostalgic fall smell. Um, really good, five out of five on the hot throw. Works in every different kind of wax I've tried so far. Um, I think I had used this in the Eco Soil Wax for my last fall launch. Worked really well. Sold like crazy. This is, this, I think this is my third or fourth bottle of this size for fall alone and I had like a half left. Um, but sold really well. So when it comes to that time of year, I would suggest you guys try it out, test it out. It smells amazing, but it's not my favorite scent. So again, five out of five that is it for the fragrance oils that have given me really good hot throw like i said i do have a box down here at my feet with a lot more fragrance oil that i haven't tested as yet but once my wax comes in later on today i'm going to start testing tonight and if i find any more fragrance oil that gives me a really good four out of five or five out of five hot throw i will definitely let you guys know so for anyone who's looking for really good hot throw um fragrance oil if those scents that i've mentioned previously sounds good to you buy the one ounce bottle and try them on and see you can also guys combine fragrance oil as well um so yeah that is it for my highly fragrant in my humble opinion fragrance oils if there's another video you guys want me to do please let me know because honestly i don't have any video ideas right now in my head um and i love putting out content for you guys so if there's something that you guys want me to do in a video please let me know and i'll try to make sure i get it done but like always guys thank you so much for watching and as always please 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 stay safe bye